And hi, man, please. Oh, yeah, we're not teaching. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Good evening, sorry. teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. but I had some problems with Good evening, my teacher. internet. Good evening. Oh, fortunately, I could get into, into the class. Okay, I'm so sorry for my delay. But, uh, you know... No problem, teacher. Okay, the, yeah. So we're going to stay here like 12 minutes more, okay? Eh, las disculpas del caso, pero este por acá ha estado lloviendo y la conexión de internet ha estado un poquito inestable. Pero este creo que nos podemos quedar unos minutitos para lograr cumplir con los 60 minutos que, que se nos pida y de ahí pues lograr culminar con la, con la sesión de esta noche. ¿Ok? Okay, okay, okay. Sí, okay, sí, 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 en varios puntos de, del país este, ha, ha estado lloviendo. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, as soon as possible because we need to take advantage of time. And uh, give me a second. Okay, so we're going to start with this. This is a, a conversation. Let me... This is a conversation, the conversation that we saw like yesterday. I have it over here. There is a, a conversation between Laura and Erica. And as you know, well, we have been studying about simple past tense and the auxiliary that we use with simple past is teeth, right? Uh, I don't know, tell me about the verse that you see in the past. Did is in past, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is another verb that you see there in, in a simple past form? Yes. Do you see another one? Which? Which? Oh. So. So. Loved. Loved it. Very good. Loved. We loved it. Which? Didn't. Didn't. Uh, 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 didn't. Good. Had. Road. Had. Road. Went. 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 The auxiliary did. did. Okay, so, and have. Uh, so, this is what we were studying yesterday, right? Yesterday and the day before yesterday. And... We also uh, started talking about about the oh, don't worry, Ingrid. I saw I, I I saw the message in the chat. Don't worry because <laughs> I had the same problem. Okay, but fortunately we are over here. Okay, so the last time, as I told you, right? So we were working with this. So let us try to to see the way we can solve this exercise. Uh, did you have a, a good summer? How do you answer to that question? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Simple like that, right? In a period. I? I, I what? have. I have. I have or I had? had. I have. I, I had a great summer. I just? Yes. 
relaxed. 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 This is a regular verb. Relaxed. Okay. I just relaxed. And uh, go anywhere last summer. What do we need? It is a question. What do we need? Need. Ah, the auxiliary did, did, right? Did you, did you want? Did you go? Did Pretty you good. Go? Did you go? Hey, did you go? Did you go anywhere last summer? Okay, no? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I stay. Stay. That's a regular verb, stay. right? So I stayed. I stayed. I stayed here, but my friends visited. 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 visited me and on the weekends yeah. we went we went we went out we went, we went out we went out we went out a lot good yeah. number three so we have take any classes last summer did you pretty good we need did did you take did you take? Did you take any classes last summer? Yes. I yes, I did. did. Yes, yes did. I did. I? I take. take. What is the part of take? Take. Ah, I took. I took tennis lessons and I? I played tennis every day. Every day. Yeah. Now, once again, did good. Yeah. Did, did, did you speak? Excellent. Did you speak? Now, did you speak? Did you speak English last summer? No. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I. Mm, but, mm. Uh -huh, but I that's irregular pair. That's yeah. irregular, but I but I read red, 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 red English. Okay. Yeah. And the last one, English books and and I watched. 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 What? English movies. Okay. So uh, this is actually Simple past tense with or oh, I mean positive negative statements. Let me see. Okay, Cecia, I got it. I got your message. Don't worry. Okay. Now and actually this is like a, a very quick review about what we have been studying lately. Well, tonight I told you, right? That we are going to uh, we were going to start by talking about something else, okay? Mm, well, this is what we did yesterday, right? This is what we did yesterday. Actually, over here, there are some activities that we can do uh, when having vacation time, like go anywhere interesting, buy anything interesting, eat any new foods, meet any interesting people, exercise and play any sports, work, Okay, play games, read, uh, etc. Right, so we have things that you can practice, okay, when having a vacation time, like the lady that's over here. Okay, so we also studied about the weekend stories. We talked about Kelly, Robert, Erin, and um, well, let's see what we have in here. Now, can somebody help me to read? About Kelly? Mm. 
Can somebody help me to read? Hey, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Uh, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. At her friends and family, when she looked fantasy, she wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony. Her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. And I really like her husband, good. Now let us see about the way we read the second one. Okay, because what I want you to notice is about the past, right? Because all of them have past things. I had an awful weekend. My friend sent I went. I had a terrible time. I took, uh, etc. But I want you to take, to to notice about the way they um they use the simple past tense. Okay, can somebody help me to read about Robert? Someone in the group? Let me see, volunteers. I don't know. Uh, Anderson, can you help me, please? Me, teacher. Please. Okay, thank you. Wilfredo, go ahead. I have a all for weekend. My friends. And I, and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at... Hasta ahí alcanzo a leer, Oh, sorry. Music at, at all. At, music at all. And after the concert, uh, and then our car broke down. I called our car broke. Down. I, I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. I am so tired. And we're going to have a submit for about Erin. Now, let me see if there is somebody there. Okay, Anderson, I got your message. Now, can somebody help me with this, please? Can somebody help me with this? Anybody in the group? Uh, Diana? Me, teacher. Thank you very, very much. I had an interesting weekend. I went coaching for the first time. My friend took me were left on Saturday and drove to the camp, camp St. First, we put on the tent. Then we, we will a fighting cooking dinner and tour stories. We go up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Hey, sir, I will, I will, I will try. Oh, okay, thank you, Diana. Diana. Yes. Oh, you wanna read the same info? Yes. Okay, so go ahead. I I had an interesting weekend. I went camping. For the first time, my friends took me, we left on Saturday, and drove to the campsite first. We put up the rent, then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told a story. We got up early on um, Sunday, and uh, I... And went fishing and I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Of but I learned a lot. Okay, so it is campsite. Okay, campsite. Campsite. Yeah, so oh. 
Well, actually, we heard about this yesterday, right? So, in like, for example, I have Kelly got married. This is information about Kelly. Now, Kelly got married. Kelly's best friend got married, right? So, we need to correct. Read the article, then correct this sentence. Helen got married in a church. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Helen got married in a church. What do you see there? Is that true or is that false? False. No. Uh, where where did she home. get where did at she get home. married? She got married at got home. Married. Ah, she got married at home. It's over here, right? She got married at home. Now, after the wedding, everyone went out to eat. Is that true? True or false? After the wedding, everyone went out to eat. False. It is false. What false. did they do? Uh -huh. What did they do? After the ceremony? Thanks. Uh, yeah, parents parents meal. Wonderful, a meal. wonderful meal. Okay, so that's what they did, yeah, right? That, After that. the wedding. Robert went Hola. to a rock concert with his parents. Robert. Robert. It's false. Oh, oh, uh -huh. What happened to Robert? I see. His car was broke down. His car. It says, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. And now here it says, Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. No, it's with no, it's it is false because friends. he did he that didn't was? go with her parents, but he went uh, with his friends. friends. With his friends, right? So that's why <laughs> it is false. <laughs> Okay, th okay, Carla, thanks for letting me know about, about your presence here. Now, it took three hours to get home after the concert. <laughs> yes, it's true. It is true, right? So, it is true. It took three hours to get home after the concert. Robert got home at 10 o'clock last night. Oh, Aha, uh -huh. what time? Uh, 10 o'clock uh, in, in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Uh, he, he came in the morning. And Erin goes camping every weekend. True or false? It is false. false. Why? False. For the first time. Ah, because she went, she went camping for the first for the time. First time. Okay. She okay. went camping for the first time. Eddie okay. and her I friends went fishing on Saturday. It's false. It is false. Why? And they left on sa on Saturday and drove. They she went early on Sunday. She went early on Sunday. Okay. And the last one, Erin liked camping a lot. False. False. Why? She didn't really like. Okay, she she said, didn't really like. She said that she didn't really like camping, but she learned a lot. Okay, so this is info that you can encounter in a page uh, or to the page 97. Okay, 
So now I consider that we, uh, that you are able to understand, to listen to and understand conversation about places and things. Ask and answer questions about places, you see prepositions of place, but well, this one is about previous, previous uh, classes, right? That you are able to talk about your last vacation using simple past. You are able to ask and answer simple past. Yes, no questions about last weekend. So I think we can create some some statements in, 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 I mean, in simple past things. We can talk about vacation time. I went to London, I saw a play, I didn't take any pictures, I didn't go to a museum, etc. And let me see, I have something here. I will stop sharing. And uh, we're gonna start with the with the following topic. That's about where were you born, okay? So if we actually finish the, the section number four, and we're gonna go over the section number five. And over here, we have the past or simple past, a form of the verb to be. There is an objective and over here, you know, at the end of this session, we are gonna be able to use positive, uh, in their statements with the pass of the verb to be. Additionally, we are gonna practice conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. And we have the first here. Let us take a look at this video, please, so that we can have an idea about what's coming uh, soon related to the simple pass of the verb to be. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, 
and day, we will use where. And for the pronouns, I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement in the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so now i hope that you have uh, an idea a general of... idea about what is all um about related to the verb to be in the past okay actually as you could notice the verb to be in the past has only two forms which are them which are them were was and were were Okay, was and where? If I say I, I was, was. you, where, where, where. he, where, was. he where. was, she, was, it, was, it, was, was. you, was. where, we, where, where. and they, where, where, where. where. So, Actually, that is the verb to be in the past form, right? Wasn't wearing. Wasn't wearing in the contractive form in negative. I mean negative in the contractive form. Wasn't is the same as saying was not, and wearing is the same as saying were not. Simple like that. Let us see. Let's see what's coming now. Oops. B. This is the first. Now, why don't we go and see what's what's going on with this? If I say, for example, my family and I was. was or were? Were. were. Was. were. Some people say was and others say were. I don't know. Were, were. 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 Okay. Were. were. All born in Hello. South Korea. Now, we wasn't or we weren't born in the U.S. 
Weren't. 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 We were, ah, pues sí. we were born in the U.S. Was or were born in the in the city of I uh -huh. was. I was. Was. I was. Yeah. I was. Very good. My parents wasn't or were. 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 My parents weren't born in in Asia. They was or they were born ah, in the pues capital. They were. They were. They were, they were. They were born, born in, the in the capital of Seoul. In South Korea, my father was. Were, was. was. Were. was. We will see. Some people have like some sí. doubts because I can I can listen. Some of you were saying like was or were. Okay, so my family and I were. We weren't, or we were not. I was. My parents weren't, or were not. Yeah. They were. Uh, in South Korea, my father was. Okay, now. Well, yesterday I told you about the homework, right? The homework was related to um providing the biography and a, and a, an autobiography do you remember yes a biography yes. and an autobiography yes. so i need to listen to some of you so remember we're going to stay here uh 12 minutes after after nine so we have time to practice are you ready yes yes, yes teacher are. Okay, let us see. Let us let us have some some participants here. Uh, let us try with Floricia. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Floricia. Do me a favor to tell My... us about the biography or the autobiography. Mm. Mm. My biography. Uh, my biography, I was born in 1919 in Morazan. Mm -hmm. When I was one year old, Tebo, me to San Salvador. I, I read in the city of Ilopango. I studied at the John F. Kennedy School. Then I went <clears throat> on to study at Santa Lucia Institute. I worked for five years in the telephone distribution company. When I started design, designing, and started working on my home, I have three children, one of nine years old, two children, the other nine years old, and Last of three year old. And my dream to fall is to be bilingual. Finish. Excellent, Floricia. Okay, one of okay. your dreams is to, be, to become bilingual. That is quite important. And let me tell you that uh, if you dream it, uh, you can make it true. Okay, dream okay. it and, and make it. Okay, it's so really like that, Floricia. Okay, anybody okay. else? Thank you. Anybody else? Nelson? Okay, teacher. Okay, after Nelson Armando. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. My biography, my name is Nelson Oriana. I am 44 years old. I am right. Salvadorian. Okay, Nelson, continue, please. I am 44 years old. 
I am Salvadorian. I was born on March 27, 1979. I was born in the department on San Vicente. I have always lived in the same place. I studied at the University of El Salvador. I graduated as a public accountant. I currently work as a government outdoor. That's my biography. Thanks for listening. Excellent. Hey, excellent people. Well, I will let, I will let you know about what I think related to the Humber, okay? Let's continue with Ana, Ana Graciela. Muy bien. I was born on August 1 in 1970. I completed my basic in high school study in San Sebastián, Ciudad de las Hamacas, in the Department of San Vicente. Then I studied at the National University in the Paracentral of San Vicente, graduating as a teacher in the mathematics. In two years, I, I studied for bachelor degree in with 28 years or coming from a large family there were 13 of us three women and ten men there are only eight of us with that good for the life in the family that the gay of, of the plan. Pretty good. Thank, Thank you, Ana Graciela. Thank you very much. That was it, Ana? Perdón. That was it? Solamente eso? Sí. Ah, okay. Very good. That was really nice. Hey, congratulations, because you're a math teacher and you're studying English. Excellent. Okay. So, Eh, los que ya participaron y vieron su biografía, recuérdense que también tenemos una, perdón, su autobiografía, también tenemos eh, programado una biografía de alguien que ustedes admiran. Ok. So, let's, let's continue with Marisol. Marisol. Hey, I am Marisol Cortés. I was born in December 2017 then 2002 in Isar I am 20 years. I live with my mother and my sister. I study high school vocational and national administrative content. Or from Monday to Friday, and I ejected or grown as a person and professionally and speaking English language. Speaking the English language. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, who's me? I, I say Armando, right? Okay. My biography is, I was born in Huayua, San Sonate on January 13, in 1995. I studied at Fray Bartolomé de las Casas School. I studied high school at Nazareth School in San Salvador. I start a university at uh, Tecnológica in, in 2017. I had a, a daughter. I currently work at Transporte del Sol. I have worked for three months. And okay. that's in my biography. Uh, I tell you uh, the biography, another biography. Uh, okay, so, so far, 
So far, Armando, I, it's really nice if you just, just with your autobiography, okay? Yes. Later, you will share your biography. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Armando, Marisol, Ana, Blanche. Teacher, uh -huh, tell me. this is my biography. So that you, do you, you, no, but that's your autobiography. Yes. Yeah, that is. Okay, so let us spell, let us listen to Anderson. Aníbal. Yes. Okay, Aníbal, tell us about the information you got. Uh, my biography or, or biography? Yes, you don't know biography. And or biography. Uh, Adam Richard Sander in New York, September 9, 1966. He's an American comedian, actor, writer, a member of the cast on Saturday Night Live. He has served in large number of Hollywood films that have grossed nearly to William at the back office for. Finish. Okay. Thank you very much, Aníbal. Now, let's see. Now, I think tomorrow we're going to have some more time to practice. Okay, to continue with the biography and autobiography, I think this is a really nice activity in which you can practice a uh, simple part form of some verbs and also uh, to, um, to talk about yourself. Well, let me see. Uh, I need to check the list of indents. Voy a pasar el listadito. Todavía nos... Nos falta algo por acá. Recuérdense que tenemos que 12 minutos después de las 9 para lograr completar a uh, los 60 minutos de la de esta sesión. Eh, but let me see. Well, questions with the past of B. Questions with the past of B. Now, let us do something. I will stop sharing. Necesito que vayan y busquen en, en, en internet cómo se hacen las preguntas con el verbo bien pasado. Ok. Van a ocupar alrededor de cinco minutos. En todo eso yo eh, atiendo lo que es el listado. Podría repetir, teacher. Ya, necesito que uh, naveguen en internet y busquen cómo uh, se crean las preguntas con el pasado del verbo be. Mientras yo eh, paso la asistencia. Ok. Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Anderson. Armando Antonio. Blanca. Present teacher. Okay, Arman Armando is over here. Eh, Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present teacher. Eh, Cecia Gemina. Cecia, Cecia. Diana Patricia. Ah, Cecia is over here. Good. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Elmer Alexander. Elsa Noelia. Present. Floricia Mengíbar. Ingrid Esmeralda. Ahí soy Ingrid. Ingrid. Jaime Iván. 
Hey, I'm here, teacher. Karina Jamilet. Present, teacher. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Kenny. Present. Uh, Maria Imelda. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Okay. Marisol. Present teacher. Eh, Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Okay. Ron Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Hola. Here I am, sir. Excellent. Very good. Now, oh, let me see. Let me tell you the following. En caso. Fíjense que nunca me había sucedido lo que me sucedió esta noche, de que pues tuve problemas técnicos para iniciar. Entonces, si acaso Zoom nos llegase a sacar de la sesión eh, en un minuto, pues nos volvemos a meter en caso suceda eso. ¿Ok? Porque acá me está diciendo que tenemos todavía un minuto, pero en realidad necesitamos cubrir 12 minutos más. Ok. 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 Um, let me see. Ingrid is over here. And also Carla Gabriela. Give me a second, please. Ingrid. Carla Gabriela. Ok. Well, let us get back to. Did you investigate something about about the verb the verb to be in the past? Sí, investigaron yes. algo, vieron algo en la web. Yes. Aha, yes. what can you tell me about what you saw? Uh, primero, verbo to be más sujeto. Uh, for example, was it uh, was it time? Aha. Uh, where you near to a stage? Uh -huh. um, what he your favorite? Okay, so I don't know if somebody else got it, but over here I have some more info about questions with the pass of the verb to be. Uh, as you can see, well, we're going to see the video. So that we can have like a clearer idea about Hi everyone. Happening. In this class, you'll learn it. how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject, plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past where next we need to include the subject you finally we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end 
born in the US? To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. He wasn't. Were your... Okay, people, as you can see, in English, we, we will always have uh, yes, no question, yes or no, and we are going to have also double H question words, uh, where you are going to, you are in charge of uh, answering something different, right? Not only yes or not only no, but you need to provide further information depending on the double H question word you have. In the first one, for example, we have, hey, were you born in El Salvador? Hey, were you born in El Salvador? Were you born in El Salvador? How do you answer to that question? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, yes I, was. I was. Okay. Now, was your brother born in a 1984? Yes, he was or no, he wasn't. Oh. You only have... One option, two options, right? Yes or no? That's why they are called yes, no questions. Were you born in Incheon? Yes or no? Well, no, they weren't. You, you have only two options, right? But when you come to these questions, like where were you born? It is totally different because you say, I was born in Korea. I was born in El Salvador. I was born in, in specifically in Santa Ana or in San Salvador or in um, Surutan or I don't know. Or when was he born? When? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay, so over here we have different, different questions in English. Now, any questions so far? Any question? No question. No, no question. Teacher. Now, did you notice that you no use question. this? That you use this information in the in the in the autobiography uh, section? I will stop this. Oops! I will stop sharing. Now, let, let me tell you the following. Hey, cuando los escuché eh, con su tarea de, de, la de la autobiografía, mm, me dio mucho gusto escuchar que se prepararon muy bien, que investigaron cómo decir ciertas frases en inglés y que, pues, descubrieron que se puede utilizar el verbo be entre otros verbos, ok, uh, en pasado. Ayer, por ejemplo, hice la, la aclaración de que con el verbo be no vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Por eso es que ahora también vimos la just no questions y la double H question eh, eh, with the simple pass of the per be, porque ahí podemos ver que si yo digo... Eh, uh, I, I wasn't born in San Salvador. Yo no nací en San Salvador, ¿ok? So you say, I wasn't, es el negativo. Pero si utilizáramos una oración con otro verbo, tendríamos que hacer uso del verbo, del auxiliar did. Por ejemplo, yo no crecí en, 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 en San Salvador. 
I didn't grow up in San Salvador. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ya no tenemos el verbo be, sino otro verbo. Entonces ahí sí utilizamos el auxiliar, yes. did. ¿Ok? Um, por ahí quedaron algunos participantes pendientes de, de participar en la biografía o autobiografía y no se preocupen que el día de mañana le vamos a dar continuidad a, a eso. ¿Ok? El día de mañana. No sé si hay preguntas. Teacher, tomorrow we have a class. Sí, tomorrow uh, we're, we're having English class. Recuérdense que vamos a cerrar el curso el día lunes, Dios mediante. Eh, esto se debe a que, pues, la... Hubo una, un día que, pues, la lluvia este, desactivó el internet y la verdad no me pude continuar con la clase. Se me hizo imposible atenderlos, pero este, por eso es que el día lunes vamos a, a, cerrar, a cerrar con la clase, con el curso, pero eh, mañana igual vamos a continuar en la misma hora, de 8 a 9. El, respecto Thanks. a la pregunta de Wilfredo eh, pues, en su momento se los van a dar a conocer los compañeros encargados de aperturar grupos e eh, Insafor pues tiene un equipo muy 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 coordinado muy organizado y hay personas que se dedican eh, a, a informar exactamente las, las fechas cuando se van a preparar los grupos, ¿ok? Teacher, un día que se desconectó okay. usted, eh, pero no nos quedó inasistencia ese día. No, no, claro que no, porque es en el, en el documento donde está la asistencia y dice que se reprogramó, oh. que se ha reprogramado las clases. Tell me, Aníbal. Eh, yo el miércoles creo que no me conecté a clases. El martes, perdón. Ajá. Eh, tuve problemas con el internet, entonces me lo vinieron a arreglar y ya pues, por eso no me pude conectar. Ah, ok. Uh, en su momento le van a llamar y este le van, le van a preguntar por qué no se pudo conectar. Ok. Okay. No, no more questions. No more questions, people. So if you don't have any any other question, let us stop over here and let us continue tomorrow. Okay. 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 okay see you tomorrow. My biography is Dígalo, ya tenemos un minuto antes que la clase. Ya no más. Yes. Dígalo. Dígalo. Hey, hey, no sé ya, ustedes, pero en estas dos clases eh, quisiera que practicáramos más la pronunciación. No sé, ese es mi punto de vista. Porque no pues, sé si, si nos si gustan, podemos si, hacer si nos llegan en, en el grupo. a tomar en cuenta para el siguiente módulo, pues hey, como sí, compañero. creo que hay que tener más fluidez. ¿verdad? Si claro, gustan, todo podemos práctica, hacer... Compañero, yo no, Hola. No sé si ustedes hacen lo mismo, pero yo me voy al traductor y este escribo las frases en inglés y lo que hago es escucharlo y así como se escucha la pronunciación, la escribo. Um, sí, está bien, aunque no te vayas a confundir también a la hora de estarlo escribiendo, que lo vas a poner como ah, lo que es. esa es otra cosa. Ah, la este, pronunciación es diferente a la... Sí, no sé, de poner ahí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp a ver si, si nos tomamos, este, aunque sea unos momentos de estarnos así, este, como digo, como un video grupal de WhatsApp, 
eh, igual que como estamos aquí, para estar practicando, no sé si les parece. Ah, buena idea. Los que podamos, ¿verdad? Sí o no, o sea, como ahí quedaría todo el tiempo, pues como 